the, the importance of immunohistochemistry chemistry cannot be overemphasized. As I've said there with the, the, the lymphoma, it can tell between a B cell and a T cell lymphoma. Another example in the human world is breast cancer. There was a, a breakthrough with a drug called Herceptin, which is very, very effective against breast cancers. However, it's only effective against breast cancers that exhibit the HER2, which is human epithelial receptor 2. And we use immunohistochemistry to identify whether the, the tumour is exhibiting HER2. If it does exhibit HER2, Herceptin is, is very effective against it. If it doesn't exhibit HER2, it is totally useless against it. We have a wide range of um, antibodies that we use, and here they all are here. These are very expensive antibodies, and this is the one that would identify a uh, T-cell lymphoma. If you look at it there, it's CD3, but the important thing to notice is it's anti-human CD3. But all these antibodies cross-react with different animals. We've tried and tested them out. You can also see that we only have one ML in here. Depending on the antibody, one ml will cost between 250 and 700 pounds. Although we do dilute it down, it does it's very, very expensive. Once the antibody is on the tissue, we then use the Envision system to detect the antibody within the tissue. Again, we have 100 m uh, 90 ml here, and this costs us 900 pounds. So when you go to the vet, and they ask you, why is it so expensive? This is one of the reasons. All our stains are done to ensure continuity and standardization. They're all done with the same dilutions, again and again, using automatic staining machines over this part here. These are the automatic uh, staining machines that we have for all our immunohistochemistry samples. And as you can see, the samples are uh, I put along here, the sections I put along here, and we have this motorised arm. It sort of reminds you of a, a car factory where the robots are, are welding the, the bits of the car. This, this arm is applying the, the, the stains and all the chemicals needed to produce this stain. And it's doing it in a standardised fashion. All stains, all sections get the same amount of time, and we can repeat this again and again which is, which is ex especially valuable in research projects where you want to repeat the results again and again.